think a lot of people still think about uh, OER as smaller grain size resources, like lessons or activities. Um, one thing that we've been pushing very hard on is this idea that OER actually fall along a spectrum. Uh, they can be small grain size pieces of building block materials like graphics or clip art. Uh, they can be a little bit larger like lessons, units, or videos, and they can go all the way up to full course. In the state of Maryland, we have a repository right now. During Race to the Top, about 4,000 resources were, were created. Our content specialists have gone through and updated those resources so that they can be used in a repository today. They are resources that are either links or lessons, lesson plans, um, simulations, just a variety of things, video, et cetera, et cetera. Um, in the districts I've worked in, we, what we're trying to do is we try to use OER in project-based learning. And so one of the challenges we've had is having our teachers go out and curate information, curate content, curate either resources or lessons or units of study to bring back to uh, help students learn a different co a concept. So when I think of OER and I think of the work we're, done, and we're doing, I think of project-based learning. Um, one of the initiatives or one of the projects we're working on, our state has adopted the Next Generation Science Standards. And we are not looking um, at a traditional adoption cycle at this point, and so um, we're excited to embrace OER in that area so we can fill in the gaps to connect those and meet those standards. So we have uh, textbooks that we use, we use um, actual lessons, lesson plans, um, and so we've been very flexible with uh, not only just adopting textbooks and curriculum, but we've said to teachers, you know, if you find something to supplement into your curriculum or resource, feel free to go grab those. You don't need a whole course or a whole book to be able to use OER. In this era, when we really have teachers that can identify the most powerful instructional standards, what is it that the students are supposed to learn? Not just what we teach, but what is it that we want them to learn and be able to do as a result of our teaching? Um, then we started using the open educational resources to align them to those very specific standards and outcomes. In a textbook, that textbook is just, it's created in a scope and sequence that's matched to somebody else's instructional design. And so really OER has given us that idea that we can control the learning path and that we have um, a lot of choices in the resources that we use to meet the needs of our kids.